everybody doing tonight? Doing all right? Is Tuesday the saddest day of the week, Adam? No? Oh, yes, sir. It's not? Okay. What is the saddest day of the week, then? There, there just isn't one. Yes. Wow. I That's feel just, like if you get... Now you you're get sad, that. aren't you, Matt? You're I'm a little sad that there's no saddest day of the week. <laughs> I would say it's a little between Tuesday and uh, the, sh the early part of, uh, th there's a line between Monday and Tuesday that's a little sad, I'd say. Um, yeah. <laughs> or Sunday evening. That that's is the, sad. That's, that's a sad. That's a sad time sometimes, too. It is. It is. It's Nathan that can, be really, that can be really sad. Absolutely. Yeah. Or when uh, Sunday feels like a Saturday, it feels like a Sunday. A little bit sad. That's a Chris Christopherson song. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. Uh, well, we're so glad to be here, y'all. Thank you uh, for coming out tonight. Um, uh, and uh, I'm Adam, and th and this is Nathan Hamilton, Matt the Electrician. Um, some of the greatest songwriters you'll ever hear. And I'm going to start us off... Um, um uh their their songs are just a little a little bit better than mine not you know a little bit <laughs> so i'm going to open the show so i don't have to play for at least a couple songs and uh and i will uh i'll play this song which is uh called the girl with the dirty hair Ooh, and uh yeah. And uh, yeah, and uh, I'll see if I can remember it. We played in, and we played in um, um, Fisher um, on on Sunday. Um, it was not sad. Uh, <laughs> it was Sunday afternoon, so there was you know it was just it was kind of mellow. We got I, a jump on it. We, yeah, we got a little jump on the sadness. Turn that frown into a smile. But uh, here we go. Scarface in the corner, stumbled in for a fight. It sure looks good in Galveston tonight I'm right in the middle of the riffraff Roughnecks are killing time and The girl with the dirty hair said she'd be mine Scarface used to tell me Gone are the fishing days The Cajuns fish the redfish all the way I got that dirty haired woman Said she'd be mine till the end Till the Cajun stopped dancing And the redfish came back again Scarface in the corner Stumbled in for a fight It sure looks good in Galveston tonight I'm right in the middle of the riffraff Roughnecks are killing time The girl with the dirty hair Said she'd be mine some sense you know I'd be five years gone everyone that I used to know just moved along me and mother ocean stared into the night and the boats are tied up and there's not a soul in sight I thought to myself I'd have did it all by now but I got stuck in Galveston somehow She's twisting and she's churning She won't leave me alone But the girl with the dirty hair Said she'd drive me home Scarface in the corner Stumbling for a fight 
It sure looks good in Galveston tonight I'm right in the middle of the riffraff Roughnecks are killing time The girl with the dirty hair said she'd be mine Scarface in the corner Stumbling for a fight It sure looks good in Galveston tonight I'm right in the middle of the riffraff Roughnecks are killing time The girl with the dirty hair said she'd be mine Adam Carroll right there.
Thanks, y'all. How's everybody doing? Awesome. Um, I have a uh, I have a brand new record that's out. It just came out a couple months ago, and uh, and it's called "The Ocean Knocked Me Down." It's a true story. And um, a couple a couple of years ago, uh, my wife, after after coaxing me for years and years to start uh, jumping into the the beautiful waters of Barton Springs in in Austin, Texas, where we live. Um, I started doing that a couple of years ago. She's been doing it for like 20 years, and uh, and she kept saying, you know, you ought to get in, in that water. And I was like, yeah, it seems kind of cold. And so I wouldn't. And um, But I'm getting older, and everything hurts all the time. I don't know if you are also older, but... Um, <laughs> But everything hurts all of the time, and there's, there doesn't seem to be a really great way to fix that. And she said, you know, if you get in this cold water in the morning, it's a, it helps a lot. And so finally I did it, and, I, and now, I'm, now I'm like a complete convert, and I tell everybody that I see uh, that they ought to get in cold water. I'm very annoying. And, um, and I know that cold water is like, I know that it's very, it's a trend now. I, I understand that, but bear in mind that cold water has been around for a very, very long time. And uh, it was not, in fact, invented by Peter Atia. But um, but so anyway, so I've been getting in this cold water. And then a couple years ago, we were going away for vacation during the holidays. We were going out to visit uh, some of my in-laws in California. And I thought, where am I going to get my cold water when I'm out in California right next to the Pacific Ocean? And... Uh, then I realized I could go in the Pacific Ocean. So I started going in the Pacific Ocean every day, and it's considerably colder than Barton Springs. It's like 53 degrees instead of 67 degrees. Um, but it was still beautiful. It was wonderful. It was a wonderful thing to go in there. There are a lot of sharks, in fact. Um, but other than the sharks and the coldness, it was, it was really a great way to start the day. And um, the one thing I realized um, doing this every day, it, it took me a few days to, to learn this lesson completely, um, and so I'm just going to give it to you for free if you're ever out there near the ocean and you want to go in, um, is you should have a great deal of respect for the ocean. That that's um, It turns out that the ocean is, is much stronger than we are. Okay, that's all. I went swimming in the ocean, but the ocean knocked me down. I thought I could walk through waves, but the ocean knocked me down. I got up, but I lost a step when the ocean knocked me down. I went home with a broken phone when the ocean knocked me down. Beach can be a safe place when the ocean knocks you down. Sometimes it's a parking lot when the ocean knocks you down. Singing a tune in your living room when the ocean knocks you down. It's alright to feel a little tight when the ocean knocks you down. Let's feel sad together. Let's stay mad forever. Let's build roads where nobody goes. Let's all help to carry when it's big and scary. Let's give hands to hold till we let go. I felt tall on New Year's Day, so the ocean knocked me down. My heart beat in the usual way, so the ocean knocked me down. I got old and I got cold, so the ocean knocked me down. I can't fly, I'm just some guy, so the ocean knocked me down. Let's feel sad together. Let's stay mad forever. Let's build roads where nobody goes. Let's all help to carry 
when it's big and scary let's give hands to hold till we let go let's feel sad together let's stay mad forever let's build roads where nobody goes let's all help to carry when it's big and scary let's give hands to hold till we let go let's give hands to hold till we let go i went swimming in the ocean so the ocean knocked me down Thank you very much. Yeah, Matt um, was kind enough to give me a copy of his new record, so I'm, it's the title track, and I'm looking forward to listening to that on the ride home tomorrow to Wimberley. Now you can skip that one. <laughs> You've already heard it. Well, I was going to say, uh, <laughs> you know, as, as much as I like the song, it actually valid. I've always been scared of the ocean, so I'm, I'm glad to know that now you've given me a validation to... So that was probably a wise thing to be afraid yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a it's a truly terrifying <laughs> space. I mean, you, you, titled, <laughs> you made a whole record about it. You titled a record about it. it I did. I made a whole record about it. Yeah. 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 So honor the yeah. honor my honored my fear. I mean, it's important. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Adam. That's the, that's the title of my next record. Is honor Adam Carroll's fear. <laughs> I'm glad somebody is. <laughs> I uh, wanted to uh, mention that if um, you get a song a day from your favorite uh, Mucky Duck artist, and if you here's your QR code, um, go go to live, you know, from uh, Norfolk Street, and um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm uh, saying this right, Rusty and Teresa. We uh, we determined uh, backstage that we're all three helpless at promotion, um, so anything we do other than just sit up here and talk and play guitars is complete failure. Um, but maybe you can figure this out. And well, I would I mean, point out if, that if you're here, don't use that QR code, because if you do watch it on your phone while you're also watching us, there will be a delay, and <laughs> that might get confusing for you. That would be a bit of a disappointment, I think, for everyone tonight, and <laughs> that's not what we're going for. And it, it, we didn't help the monkey duck at all tonight with this, but hey, here it is, okay? Here it is. You killed it. That was great. Hey, thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, we do want to thank the duck and all their great um, years of having music and having folks like us, and hey, thank you all for all your support. Uh, mm -hmm. Coming out to see live shows. <clears throat> this is... Uh, this is a song called uh, Crescent City Angels that I wrote with uh, Michael O'Connor and, uh, and Chris Carroll. And uh, um, I was uh, touring one time with uh, Michael O'Connor with our friends that we've all toured with in, in Holland, uh, the uh, Lucky Dice. And um, all three of us have been over there with those folks. And one time I was over there with, with Michael and uh we were we were on the train from uh, you know uh from uh Amsterdam to uh to Paris and um i think i think that was right and uh um uh, there was a guy on there that had he was a classical musician and uh, michael and i made a record together and uh, this guy was a classical musician had a was, he looked like Johnny Cash, you know, but he had, but he had a violin and a and a cello, you know, and and uh, you could tell he was kind of a big deal. And uh, you know, I don't speak Dutch or French or anything like that, but I heard somebody say musician, and you know, we had our guitars, and I turned around, and and O'Connor said, "He's not talking about you, Hambo." <laughs> True. <laughs> True story. Um, I'm not putting myself down. It actually happened, all right? But this is called Crescent City Angels.
Well, I'd feel like the king of New Orleans if I could keep the rain off my head. I used to be the man down here, now I'm looking for a bed. Good times coming to an end. I wash on down the street, taking everything we threw away and all that we tried to keep. The ghost out on Market Street might have laid this railroad down. If I hadn't missed the bus that day, I'd already be in town. Singing one for Madeline, Matilda, you never can tell. I made my way across the punch train to fetch my mademoiselle. Sunsets in Rosedale like none that I've ever seen. I push my luck in Mobile, I got a hole in the pocket of my jeans. It's been a long time since I held my head up high. Town to town, I'm a stranger, I'm just barely getting by. my horn down the road away to them so-called friends of mine if I could make it home before daylight I'd be dancing with Caroline there's a spark in the night I keep alive I won't ever let it die je tell my feel them yes do my v they take me back every time every time I ate your fried chicken baby Parking lot of that old motel Crescent City Angels Got me under their spell It's been a long time of running round Yes I have But it never rang my bell Crescent City Angels got me under their skin. Thanks, everybody. You know, I was thinking, Adam, I don't know, first we'll say hello to everybody online that's watching. I was thinking that maybe Sandra and Luciano might be tuning in who knows from lucky dice so. um but i was thinking like you know us traveling over there separately with them and so many other artists that have, have made that run made those runs but that we've all sleep in the exact same bed like <laughs> when we stay there like how many of artists have we've all shared that same tiny little bunk bed in i think bedding? about that all the time you think about that all the time <laughs> It's a folk funk. <laughs> and if you're on the top and you fall out, you either die or you'll write a song. Sad ones and the ones who've got nothing to lose. 
If you break the ranks, I will step out of line next to you. You can cut all your ties and cut your talismans now. Cause all the stones that you carry aren't charms, they're just holding you down. Holding you down. You're fine, but it sure doesn't show in your face. You're trying to steal time, and you're still just caged to each day. And we all have a passion and a poison to share. And the deepest of needs just to know that somebody. out here to you through the ether and the time to damn all of the doubt that clouds our minds let it bring us back home bring us back drunk and slack jawed from the fight and I see nailed to the wall a picture of two birds in flight and I know that souls will prevail over ember and wave yeah but these days it seems like your own life is the one that you I'm reaching out here to you through the ether and the time to damn all of the doubt that clouds your mind until it brings you back home, it brings you back home, let it bring me back home, let it bring us back home. Back home Questions or concerns? <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed the question. Are we going to sing together? We do. Th w there's a portion of the show that is the, um, I think it is called the uh, Norfolk Area Houston, Greater Houston Norfolk Area Boys Choir <laughs> and Regalia portion of the show. But that's not right now. It'll probably be in a little bit. I can't promise exactly when. Yeah, you know, it's a very interesting boys choir up here. I mean, yeah. But, you know, it's happening, man. It's happening. Don't don't expect too much now. But it's happening. <laughs> we will sing together a little bit. Did y'all have the shepherd's pie or the fish and chips? Wow. I know, I would have thought I would have thought I would have heard more shepherd's pie, but yeah. all right. You 
got your finger on the pulse of the of the night, man. I know. I went. I went. I went fishing chips. That's what I went. Yeah. Apparently, most of the musicians go shepherd's pie. I went shepherd's pie. Yeah. You went. You went cheeseburger, didn't you? Adam? I went cheeseburger, and oh, Nikki man. was like, "You sure that's what you want to order?" I was like, yeah. "Yes." I, I should have gone shepherd's pie. <laughs> Exactly at the right time All of the angels were telling me to pay attention And all the numbers were standing in line it Was the easiest of days There was unexpected sunshine It was all that I could see And everything was going my way And I wonder if you hadn't waited Till the morning after the night you might have seen the same things You might have seen the same bright light Like a beacon, like a bell Or maybe it's just as well Wherever you are There's no way to tell you now could not comprehend There were bells and they were ringing like guitars Wasn't upside down I could have cried if I thought a little harder But I was laughing up until I hit the ground And I know that I'm still standing Though the ground continues to shake And for all the good of my hate it's more than a share that I take It's a joke and it's a shell Or maybe it's just as well Wherever you are too many days misguided misdirection of the heart and it took some time to navigate that maze and every morning is an exclamation there are stories that are forming every night and I know it's not to win or lose there's only reaching for the light it's a beacon, it's a bell I never have felt so well, but wherever you are, there's no way to tell you now. Thank you. 
Well, yes, uh, in, in addition to being, uh, you know, Matthew Electrician, Adam Carroll, and Nathan Hamilton, we are also the uh, Norfolk Street Boys Choir. And uh, we do have a we do have a sing along that I'm about to do, and and uh, like you guys to join me if you would like. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. And also, y'all, uh, you have a part in this if you'd like. Um, if not, you you don't have to. You can just uh, you can just chill. It's all good. Um, uh, but uh, could, could you play banjo with me? Sure. Yeah. Just like I mean, I can't play the banjo, but I did bring one. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 He has one here. It just kind of it's just kind of there, but. But the song that I'm about to do is uh, called AFL-CIO. Thank you. And uh, your, your part is CIO, okay? Um, should we try it one time while Matt's tuning his banjo? All right. You can try it like three times while I'm tuning my banjo. <laughs> All right, here we go. AFL. That's really good. Y'all are doing really good. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, I played it. Uh, we played it in 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 uh, Devil's Backbone Tavern. We didn't really, but if we had, it, this would have been a lot better than that. Night. I mean, there's there's something called there's a difference between uh, show business and lying. It's it's a thin line, but that was a lie. But all that aside, you guys are totally authentic. <laughs> no lying going on. Here. Yeah, nothing. We're laying it down. Yeah. Uh, but thank y'all. AFLCO. AFLCO. Are you ready? All right, all right. I should also get in tune for this. And uh, thank y'all for participating in this. These guys have both had. Uh, Union jobs, I have not, but I have this song. So. <laughs> My grandpa was a pipe fitter, so I'll, at least I'll play this for him at least. <laughs> Well, Lester takes drag off a half a cigarette. He's got a brand new pacemaker and he's mighty proud of it. And the woman from Ohio, I can't recall her name. She talks like a Yankee, but they treat her just the same. At the AFL, rubber division, don't you know? Pick all night with a high and low at the AFL. AFL, rubber division, don't you know? Pick all night with a high and low at the AFL. sound great well if you sin better not be seen down on the Netches or Sabine you can pick all night with the hayride star tell your kids to stay out of the bar AFL rubber division don't you know pick all night with the high and low with the AFL AFL rubber division don't you know sing all night with the high and low with the AFL Well, he's got his name on his guitar strap and a mighty fancy lid. He played the Louisiana Hayride when he was just a kid. And the bass man's got a pager on if the fire was ever to start. He beat down the road to Chandler, the city with a heart. It's the AFL, rubber division, don't you know? Pick all night with a high and low with the AFL. AFL, rubber division, don't you know? Sing all night with a high and low with the AFL. We're almost done, everybody. 
No union breaks now. Come on. Well, Lester's old buddy plays till 10. You got a pacemaker and a mandolin. Put Kelly tires on your brand new cars. He doesn't like saying at the dang old bar. AFL! Rubber division, don't you know? Pick all night with a high and low with AFL. AFL! Rubber division, don't you know? Sing all night with a high and low with AFL. Rubber division, don't you know? Won't let you in if you play dobro, but you can't play banjo. Carol. Matt the electrician. Y'all did a good job now. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Of my mouth to speak. Six black birds flew out of me. Three for faith and one for truth. One for fear. One for you. You know that I was frightened. I was afraid. And all that I wanted was to escape the world's pain and hatred, too. And I take my refuge. Within you, so you pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You should drag me down, get down. Pick it up, you gotta pick it up, pick it up. Don't be dragging me down, drag. Keep it light. I don't want to think or feel anything tonight. You just pick it up, pick it up. You gotta pick it up. You should drag me down. mouth to speak six black birds flew out of me three for faith and one for truth and one for hope and one for you one for you one for you
Um, there's not. Um, I was thinking about this recently, and and uh, I'm very. I'm I'm honored to be here with with Adam and Nathan, and uh, and I'm I'm honored. I'm honored to be here with them. Um, I'm not. I'm not proud <laughs> of being here with with them. <laughs> Um, because I don't fully understand. Sometimes I get confused about that word, about about feeling feeling proud about something. Uh, like I think about my kids, and I love my kids a lot, but I'm not proud of them. Because um, that feels like a very self-serving word to me. Like if I say it to myself, I'm like, oh, I'm very proud of you. It feels like I'm congratulating myself for having anything to do with my children, which I don't. I don't have anything to do with my children. Um, they... They grew up, I was on the road, and they grew up, and, and they're fine. Um, but anyway, I say all of this because there's one thing I'm very proud of, and that's that uh, I'm a Platinum Elite member, at, a hotel uh, rewards member at the Holiday Inn Express hotel chain. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, because I did that. I d that's something I did. Thank you. I earned those points. I spent that money. I feel like that's something to be suitably, suitably proud for. Anyway, um, this is not a sing-along, but it could be. We could make it a sing-along if you guys feel so inclined. So see if you can figure it out. And uh, it's pretty short and it's really fast. So you might be able to, uh, you might be able to come up with it. But and uh, tonight, later on, Nathan and I are going to stay at a Holiday Inn Express. Um, Adam, Adam has a different uh, hotel rewards program that he is, uh, you know, loyal to, and it. Anyway, we had a long argument about it. We drove in separate cars. We're staying at separate hotels. We're putting on a friendly show for you all just, you know, because we care about you. But And there are cinnamon like rolls Fleetwood in both Mac. places. <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night in my Holiday Inn Express. I didn't know what time it was, cause my eyes were just into the darkness. If I'm really being honest with myself, then I couldn't have read the clock anyway. Cause my eyesight's worse than it was last year, and we're all gonna die someday. I wasn't sure if I heard a loud noise or I had a bad dream instead. So I stared at the ceiling, waiting on the feeling of sleepiness to boom back to bed. And I thought about the bills that I hadn't yet paid And the money that I hadn't yet made And the AC broke and the heat's no joke It's 106 in the shade Cause everything's bad Everything's worse We've all been had We've all been cursed Oh, chop wood, carry water before it's too late If life is suffering, then it's going great Oh, I lay there in the middle of the night on my Holiday Inn Express. Turned on the TV, hoping it would save me from the middle of the night distress. Oh, Benson and Stabler, my enablers, everything will work out fine. Cause the bad guys are bad and the good guys win almost 70% of the time. I have to recheck those numbers, I'm not sure that they are. I just want to really quickly uh, let you guys know that this morning when I left Austin or this afternoon or whatever time it was, there's a guy that's... Uh, been kind of living on my street. Uh, he parked kind of an art car. I say art car, it's got some drawings on it. I don't, anyway, that's subjective. It's up to you whether it's art or not. I like it, um, but he's been parked there for a couple of weeks and every once in a while he'll kind of get out of his car and, and tell me that he's waiting on a mechanic. And I'm like, all right, man, that's cool. And, uh, and there's a part of me that wants to get really like, you know, get off my lawn, crazy old man, like yelling at him because he's kind of on the street in my neighborhood. But then also, I'm a person who drives around in my car full of compact discs and a guitar. Um, and I'm really like one step away from that guy. So so I'm like, it's cool, man. You can stay there. You're fine. You're waiting for your mechanic. And then yesterday, um, he started painting next to his car, like on a canvas, like on a stretcher bars. And then he started trying to sell that painting to people walking their dogs by. And I thought, well, now maybe this is moving into a whole nother thing that I don't fully understand. And um, anyway, I just want to say this to you now. I want to say it out loud for the record for you and for everybody on the web, uh, web stream, um, just in case you never see or hear from me again. Um, 
look for the guy with the art car. That's what I'm saying. I woke up. I woke up and I filled my cup of coffee from the lobby downstairs. And the TV was playing and people were saying they were offering the thoughts and prayers. And the sausage was burnt and the eggs were rubber and the pancake machine was broke. And if I still smoked, I'd go outside and have myself a smoke. Cause everything's bad. Everything's worse. We've all been had. We've all been cursed. Go no chop wood, carry water before it's too late. If life's suffering, then it's going great. If life's suffering, then it's going great. If life's suffering, then it's going great. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, my my wife Christian has a new rating system. She had, she we talked about um, with the stars instead of stars, it's it's stabbies. How many stabbies this hotel? Mm. And the less stars, the better in her system because <laughs> less stabbies. <laughs> You know, I, I thought it wasn't bad, you know, for some of the places we all stay at, you know. Less stabbies is better. Better, which yeah. in most systems it's not because, you know, more stars. Yeah. Um, I will say that uh, Nathan and I once, we, you know, we've all done a pretty good amount of shows together. Nathan and Matt, uh, you know, done a lot of shows together. Uh, we've done a few together. One time, Nathan, you and I, we played a show in Memphis, and uh, and uh, the guy at the hotel thought that I was Nathan's son. <laughs> and granted, this was like 30 years ago, so. <laughs> but we walked in, check in, and guy just goes, so just you and your, you and your son? <laughs> I was like, calculating, were we looking for like the discount thing that we, I was like, yeah. It's just, it's just me and my son. Oh, he got that discount. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> uh, that was the same trip we were saying at the Devil's Backbone. We were saying that was the same trip that we were talking late in the night and um, driving back home to Austin and lost in conversation like four in the morning. And Adam goes, "Well, look at there." The Red River. I didn't know it was this far south. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Antones. I didn't know Antones was in Oklahoma, man. <laughs> we had taken uh, a wrong turn and ended up in Oklahoma. And uh, That's what you got to do to be a songwriter, I guess, sometimes. Yeah. Uh, or something. Just gave um, us more time to talk. Yeah, we got a lot more time <laughs> to talk that night. Um, that was before Google, um, of course. Um, well, I, I think... Matt, if it's all right, I'd like to do a song. Uh, you don't have to run all your songs by me. <laughs> but, uh, thank you. Thank just you. wondering, are we supposed to get permission <laughs> from Matt? For... You set you set me free. Thank <laughs> you. Um, just a shout out to your uh, dear old stomping grounds of uh, Petaluma. Ooh. This is where I wrote me and uh, me and Chris wrote this song here on the road when, back when we had an RV. It's called. Uh, uh, Iris and the Lonesome Stranger. Iris had a best friend that she called Iris Rose. She hid it in a shopping cart like it was solid gold. Cashier at the liquor store didn't even say hello. But she used to be somebody, man, if he only cared to know. 
She thought about a little girl on daddy's knee. Her dreams were just too big to be holding up a sign. She liked to watch the sunset in the desert with a bottle and a blanket on Hollywood and Vine. Iris rode a stallion in Las Vegas rodeo Almost took home the golden buckle all them years ago All that's left of all she was and all she'd hoped to be Neon signs, stoplights, and faded memories Life just got too hard to hold on to the Nightclubs and bar stores, the truck stops in L.A. Her mama didn't even leave a postcard Send Iris in the wilderness There's nothing more to say Way up in Grass Valley A stranger came to town Pull up to the dew drop in where Iris hung around. He said, I got nobody, but I got a lot of land. She poured him her Iris rose, and then she took his hand, and then she held his hand. Iris had a best friend that she called Iris Rose. She hid in a shopping cart like it was solid gold. That cashier at the liquor store didn't even say hello. But she used to be somebody if he only cared to know. Thanks, everybody. There's a fire in the sky And I can see the orange glow Behind the silhouette of the crosses Casting shadows down below And there's an old man at the bus stop He's got sadness in his eyes And all the tears that well up in them From the pain that filled his life So I'll meet you in the back room And take you for my bride We'll steal ourselves some new shoes And hitch ourselves cash with my tobacco and put your smile with my knife we'll cut our place into heaven we'll sleep beneath the stars tonight See the lightning in the trees You know the floods might just be coming To steal the ground beneath our feet And I don't have an explanation For all the burdens that we bear Why someone holds a hand out Someone else just don't care So I'll 
meet you in the back room and I'll take you for my bride and we'll steal ourselves some good news leave all this bad news right behind and you put your cash with my tobacco Put your smile with my knife. We'll cut our place into heaven. Sleep beneath the stars tonight. Cut our place into heaven. Sleep beneath the stars. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, Matt. Well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a song that takes place in that in in that town where you wrote that last song, Adam. Um, and it also features some cash and tobacco from mm -hmm. your song, Nathan. Okay. So. I'm, Tying it all together. Um, the cash and tobacco is inferred in this song. You just have to, you have to kind of smell it or something. I don't know, I don't know how it works. But do, we, do, we, do we get to sing on this? Should, we, should the choir, does, is there a place for the choir? Is there a place for the choir? Yeah. Probably not. Okay. No. <laughs> we'll just imagine that there were choirs there. I, I could come up with a better a better choir song if that's no, uh, no 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 just do do this you yeah. know okay we'll be singing in our in our hearts Someone sent me a picture of an old newspaper in a text message from an unknown number. It was the box scores for the Little League teams in 1983 in a little town in Northern California Where I lived For a while The place I kind of hated It's all so complicated But junior high Is terrible Even if it's called middle school It's totally The same thing So many Names for saying Everybody hates you And you don't wear the right jeans You can't talk to anyone Why'd you get your hair cut Like Jeanette Plumlee Feathered on the sides Most popular girl in junior high Thought it couldn't get any worse but every day is a miracle If you think it, you can feel it still Thought I had let it go Then you had to go And send me a picture Of an old newspaper In a text message From an so much.
You guys got any questions or anything you want to? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could do a, I guess I could do a floater song, sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's not here. He couldn't make it. He couldn't oh, make he it. Yeah. yeah. I could tribute Gary if you want. Yeah, you he'll could. never he'll never show up. At he was supposed to run merch here for us tonight. Yep. And yeah, yeah. In case of gout came up, so he wasn't able to make it. So he's he's. Uh, That's true. Out. He got the gout. Couldn't operate the square. <laughs> uh, kind of his gout, and uh, uh, and then the uh, you know uh, he came to. He actually came to Fisher, um, and there's a sign that in the men's restroom that says, don't take a dump in the urinal. And, of course, he did. And, uh, <laughs> because when you put a sign up <laughs> like that, that's what happens. Yeah. You know, with somebody like Gary, uh, I'm sorry, just beat this and mix company. I know it's not very polite, um, but that's Gary Floater. Um, <laughs> Oh, uh, Gary. But I could I could sure do a Gary song. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh Yeah. Let's see what what could we do with uh that one. Well, I'll tell you what. This is a I'll be I'll be studying on this, ma'am. Um um on on which song Gary would want us to play, but uh first I'll do this one. This is almost um as good as a Gary Floater song, but not not quite. <laughs> this is it's actually uh, the name of his greatest hits uh, <laughs> compilation. That's me. Yeah, Adams almost gold. Songs of Gary Floater. Um, uh, this is uh, this is a song um, featuring the le the Norfolk Street uh, Boys Choir. Uh, this is called the Snow Cone Man, and this is uh, this is uh, their their big hit from uh, back in Lithuania, back in the day. Uh, Nathan on bass, me on baritone, Matt on tenor. Uh, uh, you can find it on. Uh, I got a record back there called Live at Flipnotics, and uh, and both of these guys are on it. That was uh, the Lexington, Kentucky Boys Choir. Uh, back then, that's what we were touring under. Now it's, uh, of course, the Norfolk Street uh, Boys Choir, and we are a, a uh, ensemble uh, because it, I asked my mom today. She she directs uh, choirs, and she said that you can call yourself an ensemble if there's three guys in there or girls. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> introducing Lexington, Kentucky Boys Choir, ladies and gentlemen, Matt D. E. on trumpet. Nathan Hamilton uh, on the baritone and uh, possibly a guitar. And uh, I'm just going to sing the snow cone, man. I, I want to say that this genre, what I call this, is called security guard country. <laughs> the reason I, I say that is because uh, uh, Mucky Duck used to have a security guard right after Hurricane Andrew. And uh, and I, I gave the security guard here an Adam Carroll T-shirt. And uh, he liked it. Um, but I actually have a Snow Cone Man t-shirt now. And um, I'm sorry that that fella is not still employed here to, to get another one. Um, but uh, he used to say, don't mess around. Do your show and go home. And I did not heed those words. And um, that accounts for a lot of things that have happened to me in my life. No, I'm not the only one. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Snow Cone Man, featuring the Lexington, <laughs> Kentucky Boys Choir. Uh, for a modest donation of nothing, you can have our CD, which we do, does not exist, but we will probably not get it out to you. But you can have this song. Here we go. Well, 
they was out in the hot sun standing in line buying snow cones in the summertime buying snow cones from the snow cone man how many cones in july have you sold can't sell them at christmas time it's too dang cold said the snow cone said the snow cone man can't get no cones for a nickel or a dime can i date your sister she's mighty fine Mr. Snowcone, Mr. Snowcone, man, that's what she said. But your sister Jeannie, she bought me too. It was cherry for love, it was grape for blue, Mr. Snowcone, Mr. Snowcone, man. He gave me directions to her whereabouts. Said if she likes you, you should ask her out. I said, thank you, Snowcone. Thank you, Snowcone, man, that's what I said. But she's got a great big boyfriend, might give me a whipping. Bought me a yellow one and he called me a chicken. He said, you're a chicken. I said, thank you, snow cone man. I took my yellow snow cone, I was on my way. Stopped and bought a pretty rose bouquet with the snow cone. With the snow cone man. I found her house and she was at the door. There was snow cone cups scattered on the floor from her brother, from the snow cone man. She saw my flowers, she said everybody knows the yellow snow cone's better than a red, red rose. Be my snow cone, darling. Won't you be my snow cone man? That's what she said. She cried watermelon tears, prettiest ever seen. Said, Gave me kisses and my tongue turned green. Lime green flavor from the snow cone man. All right, here we go, boys choir. <laughs> okay. Mm. Everybody. Mm. It sounds so beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> she said, my big, big boyfriend, I don't like him at all. Come on, everybody, come on. He's hard-headed in his snow cone small. <laughs> Little snow cone. Little snow cone, man. upstairs and we sang this song been making snow cones all day long me and Jeannie making snow cone love I asked Jeannie darling would you be my wife sell me snow cones at half the price sell me snow cones from the snow cone man we got married and we said I do it was a cone for me it was a cone for you got married by the snow cone man had a reception at the snow cone stand had her honeymoon in snow cone land compliments of the snow cone man that's right well it was out in the hot sun standing in line buying snow cones in the summertime buying snow cones here we go from the snow cone Lexington, Kentucky Adam Boys Carroll. Choir, everybody. All right. Great job, everybody. Great job. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where to go from there. I don't either. I don't know. Let's see. We got time for a few more, um, but a big thank you to all of you for coming out and spending your yeah. uh, early evening on a whatever thank day of the week much. it is. Uh, it's the saddest day of the week, perhaps. I'm not sure, but um, but thanks for being here. And big thanks to the Mucky Duck for having us. Yep. Yeah, thank you guys.
And thanks for Adam for the phone call for putting this kind of bringing us back together, hanging out to do this whole thing. I'm so glad about it, man. We do, uh, after the show, we have assorted things over there, vinyl records and compact discs, the format of the future, and uh, T-shirts, and uh, uh, I know you're laughing, but it's, it's true. In like five years, you're going to go, oh my God, Matt the Electrician was right. So uh, I would just figure out a way to buy a CD player again now, and then you can buy a bunch of compact discs, the for format of the future, and you'll be all set to be very cool uh, with when you hang out with middle school kids, which you shouldn't do. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, but your faith is a child that's been left out in the cold. A face to the glass to see the light it longs to know But you're hanging on Just the same To the one distant voice in the night That calls out your name Like a dime sacrificed on a track for a train. And I've seen those that run hard, those that try hard not to run. And I saw a man with the guts to fly to
Thanks, Mr. Nathan Hamilton. I don't know if I mentioned I have a brand new record uh, for sale. It's it's also on compact disc, the format of the future, and it's called uh, "The Ocean Knocked Me Down." And there's uh, there's a couple of short songs on it, very very short songs. I'm gonna play one of those right now. And um, uh, I'm also working on another project right now where I'm recording 156 one minute songs in my garage, and that's gonna be out uh, in nine or ten years. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but. Um, you can look forward to that if you like very, very short songs. Um, and I'll give you a little taste right here. This is one from my new record. It's called My Arms. <clears throat> That's partly true and partly an over-exaggeration of the facts. See, I re-upped my membership at the Y and I started to work out again. The lowest settings on all the machines and then I do three sets of ten. But yesterday I decided against all better advice to focus on my biceps That was a misstep For I did not understand the device And I set the weight higher Than I thought I had done And I kept on doing curls Though I was clearly impressing no one And it was only 20 or 30 pounds And I hope there's someone at the hospital When I come around Cause I can't move my arms okay that's partly true partly an over exaggeration of the facts oh my goodness oh man. thank you i mean that is just a, an, an order in, in addition to being just a great song that is just a that's a that's a feat in itself to get that in there and just like a, what was that like a minute and under a minute and a half, almost. I think it was over, yeah. yeah that was time. amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to do uh, one more song, and then uh, I think an encore, possibly. We've, we've given ourselves, we've congratulated ourselves. Uh, but thank you guys so much. Uh, this is a song uh, I'm going to uh, dedicate. This is a song I wrote for my mom and dad. Um, it's just called, uh, should be able to do it in, in a minute, uh, maybe a minute and a half. See how does it go? She said it broke her heart to think of good times that would end. He said not to worry that they'd all come back again she said she saw love wherever he was at he told her she told him he she would not forget his hat it might be with a runaway down on the drag playing just for tips on the capitol steps She's got no idea where she's going All those days they could not forget Open up a book You might find your life in there in a sanctuary full of songs Three feathers on a hat band He left on his dresser drawer He trusted that the wind would make them strong He had the words, oh she had the music They danced together just like acrobats 
the stories that they held like buried treasure like the gold hiding underneath his hat blessed are the footprints of that the children have trod blessed are the mothers and all the fathers too praying that the road won't be quite as long as it has been for me and you as it has been Open up your heart, you don't have to see the end of a story that's been written for so long. Your future and your past brought together by a line, conspiring to help you write a song. Raise a glass to brothers and to sisters. Raise a glass to keepers of the dogs and the cats. Raise a glass to those almost like mothers and like fathers who've kept you from the rain and said, don't forget your hat. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Five, four, three, no, I'm just kidding. It's happening? It's happening. It's happening. Something's happening. It's happening. This is the forced encore portion of the show. Um, <laughs> no. Oh, y'all are... <laughs> We're back again. <laughs> uh, well, thank you all. What, what should we do for us? Or what do you think? Can you do one? You, you, you got a Gary Porter song? You got a, or you got a... You got a floater? Yeah, let's do a floater. Okay. You got all right. Floater? Yeah, you want to do a floater song? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, do okay. Yeah, ter- totally. Should we do Dirty South, I guess? Do whatever you like, right, man. Right. I'm just going to play trumpet in, in a whatever key works for me. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> As floater would have wanted it. So uh, this is your Gary Floater song, ma'am. Here we go. I drank white lightning when I slept in the crib. Had a moon pie smeared all over my bill. Watched my first grade teacher ride straight in the mouth. That's how we do it in the dirty sound. Got a Dale Jr. tattoo here on my back. And my ears are still ringing from the NASCAR track. I punched Jeff Gordon right straight in the mouth. <laughs> That's how we do it in the dirty sound. Show was a hell of a time. Tanya Tucker Link winked at me as I was standing in line. My wife punched.
punched her right straight in the mouth. That's how we do it in the dirty south. That's how we do it in the dirty south. All right, now it's y'all's turn. Shout out to the late, great Charlie Daniels. Just get your inner Charlie going like you're uh, whispering angrily at somebody in a library. Ready? <laughs> That's how we do it in the dirty south. That's how we do it in the dirty south. Thank you, everybody. Adam Carroll. Matt, the electrician. Nathan Hamilton. Nathan Hamilton right over there. Thanks, y'all.